Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game, man. All right. Um, I guess Bob Arum hasn't got the memo that, you know, 17 million people officially or unofficially have applied for unemployment benefits nationwide, which means people are out of jobs, which means people don't have no steady income coming in. Now, you just seen the video I did earlier today about Miss Heather saying she don't have no steady income coming in. Is she a damn boxer? So I'm trying to figure out what makes Bob Barron think that people have $80 to fuck off on a fight, which basically has no business being on pay-per-view and i'm talking about the fight between terrence bud crawford and kale brook now i think this would be a great fight to jumpstart boxing by putting this on abc like saturday night fights or something i think it would be great for abc to showcase bud you know help his notoriety you know just jumpstart boxing and once again bob barham is going about this the wrong way you know because this fight will not be successful and then you're going to have the Bud naysayers that's going to say oh well you know Bud don't do the numbers that Errol Spence do so this is why Errol Spence should get this amount of it like and that's something that people need to stop doing man now I've been guilty of doing that but I try not to do that if y'all watch most of my videos I don't try to say what fighters should get this amount of money versus that amount of money. Cause that really, you know, in the words of Mac Dre, that's not my job. And I think that's the problem with a lot of YouTubers, you know, and people that's just biased towards one fighter. They want to sit up there and make it look like one fighter's just doing astronomical numbers and they really ain't. Because it's just true. And you got people making it look like one dude is selling astronomical amount of fight tickets and they really not but they want to perpetrate that fraud and shit which I'm not doing at the end of the day there's just fights that need to happen and people need to just cut the shit for real and stop trying to play promoter and demand that these fights happen that's up to the fighter and the promoter to decide who should get what. Not us. So like I said, I kind of like steered away from that. I just want the damn fight to be made. I just want certain fights to be made. I'm not worried about who should get what and who, you know, who should get what. Because a lot of times you finna see that a lot of these boxers is fronting about how much money they actually make it per fight anyway a lot of it is just just front we know that and then here's the thing like I said it doesn't matter whether this fight is on pay-per-view or not if it doesn't do good you're gonna have the, the bud naysayers who don't like him no matter what they gonna say oh this is why so and so should get the money man get the fuck out of here man Fuck out of here with that. Oh, it's 70 30, man. Fuck out of here. You ain't no promoter. You ain't no negotiator. Fuck out of here with that shit, man. Stick to commentate, man, on, on who gonna win the fight, man. Cause like I said, y'all been getting inflated numbers from both parties. But what I'm saying is the reason why I'm not for this fight, even though you had a lot of the bud naysayers say, oh, oh, bud need to fight Errol Spence or he ducking him. Now that it look like he about to fight him, now it's going to be he a leftover. Mark my words, the excuse is going to fly. If he blows out, if if he blows out Carol Brook, you're going to hear the leftover shit. You're going to hear, oh, well, he had to come down from, from uh, you know, 154 for this fight. He, is, he was too big and he got weight drained and all that shit. And when you do that, that's and when you come with that excuse, I'm just telling you now that's gonna be your very last post on, on my channel. 
because I'm not hearing that shit. Y'all asked for this fight, so let's so let's get this fight. Now we don't know what is the set date for this fight and what's the location, but New York is definitely out based off what's going on in New York. Just it, that's just definitely out. I don't think New York gonna be hosting anything major for the next, I mean, anything outside of uh, their prospective teams, uh, the Brooklyn Nets, New York uh, Knicks, and the Yankees, and and um, I just think they won't be hosting anything major for the next couple of years. I guarantee the Super Bowl won't definitely be there, even though the Super Bowl would be held in Jersey, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, as far as like like I said, as far as this fight go, um, it's okay. It's, it's it's okay for Bud, but I'm just telling you, the naysayers is gonna come up with an excuse to, 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 to discredit him for for this fight. But this fight being on pay per view is a fucking joke, and Bob is completely out of pocket. For thinking that people got eighty dollars to fuck off on on a fight. This is not two thousand and twenty. I mean, this is two thousand twenty, not two thousand ten, where fights were, like I said, fifty bucks. Now they like almost a hundred bucks. They have been certain fights that was a hundred bucks. Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao was a hundred dollars back in two thousand fifteen. And then it seemed after that, fights never went back down. Because I think Wilder Fury was like 80 bucks. You know, that's... You know, I think if they went back to the old days, if they went back to making fights like 49, 50 bucks, I think they would have the chance to do better pay-per-view numbers and make more money. You know what I'm saying? Addition by subtraction. You may add more pay-per-views if you subtract the numbers. You know, what you want for this pay-per-view event. So, it's one of them something got to give situations. Real talk. It really is. I'm just, you know, when this fight is announced... I already know you're going to have people that's going to, like, hate on this fight. Who was the very ones that was calling for this fight. And I can't wait till they do it. Because I'm going to blow their ass out the water. I can't wait. But, anyway, this fight shouldn't be on pay-per-view. This your boy, Town Biz. I'm out.